I'm getting micro locks. I'm just gonna do it myself. I wasn't nervous before. I'm a little nervous now. I did one. <laughs> you, can you guys see it? I'm in my short hair era again. I still look a little bald. I've mostly been wearing it kind of on the side like this. Hi guys. I've impulsively decided I'm going to put some locks in. I feel like I've just kind of hit a rut with my hair where I've started sort of dreading doing anything with it. So it's been in protective styles for I think a good two years now. I rarely wear it out. When I do wear it out, it's cute for a couple days and then the idea of like doing it again really stresses me out. So <laughs> I've decided that I want, maybe I need to try something new something a little bit less maintenance, but not really because I still have to maintain it in a way where I don't have to think about what's my next hairstyle. I always have the same hairstyle, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna give it a try. If I absolutely hate it, I'm gonna shave it off because that's what I did last time. Last time I was like, you know what? I need something different and I shaved my hair off and it was fine and it grew back just fine. But the style that I'm doing today is I'm getting micro locks. I've decided to do it myself because I live in Minnesota and I don't know anybody who can do this. And I've been searching and everybody that I've found, I didn't really like their their craft. <laughs> it didn't look as neat and it didn't look the way that I envisioned it. So I'm just gonna do it myself. I've been doing my hair myself for years. And that way if I screw it up, I don't have anybody else to blame but myself. So that's what we're doing. I've washed my hair and I blew it out. So this is sort of the length that we're working with just to show you guys. I was considering like trimming my ends but I think it's okay because they're not bad actually. So this is two to three years of growth from my little short pixie cut. So I just want to show you guys and also record it for myself when I look back and I'm like, why did I do that? I want them to pretty much look like sister locks, like really small. So it's going to take me a long time to do them and it's going to be a commitment because if I got bigger locks, I could technically take them out. But I just think I like the style, the look, the versatility that I've been seeing with like the size of sister locks or really, really small micro locks. So that's what we're going for. I hope it ends up looking okay. My hair looks really long right now, obviously, because it's blown out. But when it's wet and it's in its natural curls, which I think that's what it's supposed to revert back to when I lock it, it's pretty much like this short. It's gonna be interesting to see because it's gonna look very short on my head. But obviously over time, I hope that it'll drop, it'll grow. Now that I'm saying this in front of a camera, I'm like nervous. I wasn't nervous before. I'm a little nervous now. The only thing I'm scared of is not feeling pretty. <laughs> Cause I like short hair, but when I had my bob and it was short short, I feel like I had to do more. Like I had to wear more jewelry, I had to wear more makeup, just to feel a little bit more feminine. So I'm scared that I'm gonna feel that way. The other thing I'm afraid of is like questions from other people. So I'm like scared about other people's opinions, but who cares? They're not the ones doing my hair every other week and stressing out about it, okay? It's me. And they're not the ones that have to spend money to get braids and wigs and whatever. It's me, so I'm trying to push that those thoughts aside because who cares what other people think? But also I'm very picky, so I might not end up liking this. <laughs> the last time I did my hair, I was not very sensitive and gentle with it. And I have one, I can't even find it now. I can't find it. I have one area kind of over here where I cut it because it got tangly and I got annoyed and I just cut it short. So there's one area that's really short, but apparently I can't find it right now, but I'll probably see it when I put them in. Um, my edges are a little thin. They've always been thin, but I do have thinner edges here. So I don't really know, do you put these into a lock as well or do you leave them out to have some edges? But I also don't like laying baby hair, so I don't know but they're like a little bit shorter here up front. The back of my hair, I can't, I don't know what it looks like. Hopefully it looks fine because I have a feeling I'm gonna wear my hair in a ponytail for a while. So I'm gonna just part my hair out tonight so that I have like the perfect sections and then we'll start tomorrow. You know what's gonna bother me? If I don't have a straight part right in the middle, that would be awful. What about now? Mm. This is my nose. Good or perfect? Good. Okay.
Good morning, you guys. Today's Sunday, it's the next day, and I'm so tired. My face looks so puffy. Last night, we stayed up for a while trying to get like perfect sections because I knew the parting <clears throat> would be the hardest thing for me. So I went in, parted it, and then I had my husband come in and like make everything look kind of even, especially in the back. Um, and I think we both did a pretty good job. Um, this is sort of what we ended up doing. I've got my two sections here, two here, and two here. So I've got three in the front. You can see that, and I went ear to ear. And then back here, this next row, I went like top of my head down to my ears again. I do have one triangle section right here. I don't know if we can really see that on the camera. Um, but the rest are squares. And then in the back, I wanted one row going from my like center middle part all the way down to the back of my neck in case I decide to do like two braids or buns or something. Um, my hope is that this is gonna be super versatile for me because I like to kind of change my hair, you know, so if it's gonna be permanent, it's gotta be versatile. So, and then I just put some quick Bantu nuts in it so it'll be separated. I'm trying to decide if I should start at the back and work my way to the front. That would be the smartest thing because I don't really know what I'm doing. So if I mess it up, I'd rather that be in the back. But also if I get tired, I kind of want the best ones to be in the front, you know? You know what? Now that I'm looking, I don't think my middle part is straight. <laughs> now that I've got some sleep. But we'll fix that in the morning. Because that's the most important part, you know? I think I'm going to do... Start with the little braid. Just so I get some tension at the start and then do two strand twists. I was looking and people were doing interlocking the whole way through, sort of like a sister lock method or whatever, but I don't really know how to interlock, so I don't wanna like screw it up, but I do know how to two strand twist and I could two strand twist pretty quickly. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna start with a little braid just so my base is neat and secure. Okay, I did one. <laughs> you, can you guys see it? Um, I did this little one and it's so small. This is gonna take me forever. I finished one section, this little corner one. Um, I ended up going pretty small. I might be regretting this later because it's, how long did that take me? That took me 47 minutes. <laughs> so at that rate, I'll be here for a long time. I've gotten the back section done, but I'm more than halfway, so that's progress. I can definitely finish this today. Right now it is 6.17, and I've been working on this since 8 a.m. Ooh, my eyes hurt, and my fingers are getting sore already. It is 8.45 right now. I started at 8 a.m. It is now 8.45 p.m. so it took me exactly 12 hours and 40-ish, 45 minutes. I'm gonna spray some water on it because I had it kind of blow dried. You see how much this side already shrunk? It's so short compared to this side. Look at the little curls on the ends. You guys, I'm so excited. 
I'm so excited. I was questioning it. I still look a little bald. Do you guys see the vision? Like, you could do like cute little buns. Ah, you could do like a high. <gasps> I'm gonna wear it like this tomorrow to work. I'm in my short hair era again. Hi guys, it's been a week. I'm wearing the same thing, so it probably looks like it's the same day, but it's been a week with my hair. This is, I just wanna come back and show you what it looks like after I added some water. It's been like this for a couple days. It's definitely shrunken down. So this is what we're working with. It's super short. Remember it was like, was it like here? It was at least shoulder length. It is now above my shoulders. I've mostly been wearing it kind of on the side like this. I occasionally kind of pin it back here. Um, I don't <laughs> like the way the middle part looks. I feel like my forehead looks giant. So we're not gonna do that. I've been doing just the side part. It's not really long enough to go into a ponytail. It like just barely fits into a ponytail. I think it looks funny like that. <laughs> so I've just been wearing it down and to take care of it, I've just been spay spraying some water on it in the morning like every other day and then just shaking and going. So I love that. That's the reason I got this. Um, the only thing is I love the way that it looks, okay? And I like the size of everything. Like this is okay. It's okay. I could work with this. But I think as my hair starts to grow out and sort of thicken up, I have a feeling these bigger parts here are gonna be too big. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna go in, undo them, <laughs> probably, yeah, in a couple days, and redo it with smaller parts. So my plan is to slowly unravel them and basically split each section into two because I like that the way that this looks, but as it grows out, as it gets a little bit more thick, the look that I'm going for is definitely more like very mini, almost like sister locks. And this is giving just kind of like small locks. I don't know. So I want them smaller and I've decided I'm gonna go in and unravel them and split them in half. The only thing is that if I go ahead and unravel it and do the smaller parts, I'm scared that it's not gonna look as full i mean it doesn't look that full but it does look fluffy but i don't want it to be flat so we're gonna give it a try and hopefully it doesn't lose any more volume so yeah i can't believe i spent 12 hours 13 hours doing this just to go unravel it and do it again but this is why i didn't want to pay for somebody to do it and i wanted to just do it myself because I know I'm picky and how annoying would it be if I paid like a couple hundred bucks to have somebody do this and then a week later I was like, nope, I don't like it <laughs> and have to go pay again. So that's one of the reasons why I did it myself. So I'm just gonna take my time, undo some of them and then redo them over like the next week or so. And then I will check back in once I'm all done and you guys can see the difference. 